all Gary Nasai Minasan. Today we are gonna talk about Baku Agei Sendai Boom Boom Ja episode. And this is man, this is gonna be one of the best episodes from the series so far because of how serious things actually get. Okay, so the serious level has been raised up to gear number two okay so i i really love how they drop they they, they kind of like increase the seriousness to this episode with just a simple dialogue itself and everything else before that is so goofy so dumb like they are they are testing out their car they are doing a little bit of boom boom racing everyone is still having the time of their life like even saibu actually make an appearance and and make, make the entire episode feel a little bit chirpy and a little bit dumb with how she's like trying to give uh, Boom Boom the, the CD for Bellora itself. Like she's like really, really hoping that like Boom Boom is going to be really, really appreciative of that. But everything changed when Gemba out of nowhere announced that, hey, the real reason why Boom Boom Ja is being created, it is to actually participate in the Big Bang Grand Prix itself, the BBG. So I really, really love the idea that we are actually gonna get a potential racing tournament up in Boom Boom Ja because if, if that is the direction of the story that Bobumja is gonna go, then we can actually say goodbye to the monster of the week concept when we actually go for the for the Big Bang rest itself. And I another thing that I would really really love to see is that multiple different alien forces is actually gonna make their appearance in the BBG itself. That we are not only gonna see Boom Boom Ja, but on, uh, we are not only gonna see Hashiriyan, but I believe there are gonna be many, many other aliens out there that is also gonna join the Big Bang Grand Prix itself. And I felt like introducing us to the Big Bang Grand Prix, I hope they don't actually make it into kind of like a movie thing and, and call it a day, okay? I really want a full on arc to the story itself like it can even be the arc for the rest of the series I, I really don't mind if they actually just focus on the the BBG for the rest of the of the series itself because I felt like giving Bobumja this identity this BBG itself is definitely gonna help to separate it from the usual typical like Super Sentai series that we saw in the previous year and all the stuff and I feel like that is the secret material in, in transforming a Super Sentai series into a, from, from a normal one to a, a legend one and I felt like that is what Dawn Brothers and also All Sama Sentai did that they, they actually managed to elevate the story and elevate the Sentai series for compared to the rest from the past itself okay so I'm really really excited if, if they do actually give us a full on arc of the BBG itself and I'm really excited for new different alliance being formed from between the Boom Boom Ja and, and with, with some other aliens that we might actually get to see itself okay so this is actually turning out really really exciting and I felt like a lot of people are waiting for a new potential ranger from the Boom Boom Ja itself and after learning the fact that we are actually gonna get the BBG there might be a potential that we are actually gonna get the 6th ranger for the Boom Boom Ja to be an alien itself okay it, it, they can they, they no need to kind of like restrict themselves to only having like human as the sixth ranger and all the stuff set for our our best girl saibu but sadly i mean like uh, this is how things are gonna go okay if alias is, is in a mix then they can definitely give us a really fantastic alien character that can actually be a part of the bobuja as well now that it is no well, like no longer restricted on earth itself okay I'm, I'm, I'm just so excited when we actually get to learn that there is actually gonna be a grand prix coming to the series itself but before that happened there is a few things that needs to get settled first okay 
okay so the first thing is obviously the thing going on with Mira and also Joe okay so after learning the truth Mira and Joe is like wow like they are not they are not happy at all they are not happy at all okay so they are really really angry on how uh Kaya actually tricked them in a sense into joining the Boom Boom Jar. But I feel like for Mira Kes, maybe it is a little bit like trick her. But for Akase Joe, it's like he is the one that wanted to join the Boom Boom Jar itself. Okay, so you would say like maybe, maybe not like Akase Joe did this on himself you know like so I, I'm not sure what to actually think about that but I feel like I, I really love how like Mira and Joe is like even though like they are being betrayed and they they, they, they still want to they, they still want to use the power of the Bumoja for the for the good that it can do to for the rest of for the rest of the earth itself okay so i think how the story is gonna proceed moving forward how mira and joe is gonna make peace with with continue to be a part of the boom is that maybe how next episode is gonna go is that we might actually get to see that boom no longer has become a the dream for tires only but it is also it's gonna be a dream for the whole squad the whole ranger squad itself and every single one of them has a different value and a different different thing that they want to focus on for the for the boom boom jet itself okay so maybe this is how you know like how things are are gonna go moving forward like it's kind of like a a story where we saw in one piece like how luffy started his journey wanting to become the pirate king and all every single one of the of the nakama that he bring up the ship along the way before he like joined the grand line like actually proclaimed their own dream before they joined the grand line is like like zoro want to be the best sword man and sanji want to look, find the old blue nami wants to draw the map of the war and then also want to be a brave warrior something like that okay so this is like the dream of the first the, the first five for the the one piece luffy squad something the the straw hat squad so we might actually get to see something similar happening in bumumja where if all five of the rangers that we are gonna see it is gonna proclaim their their dream like honestly to to one another it's like using bumumja what they want to achieve for taya they want to like he want to win the bbg maybe for chashiro he has his own thing then gemba has his own thing and then for for Mira, he she she's gonna use it to for for her own benefit, and then Joe is gonna use it for for his own benefit as well. So I feel like this is definitely gonna open doors to a lot of potential uh, storyline moving forward, and and how how like different conflict into it between the teams is definitely gonna happen okay but i'm not sure how things are gonna go uh, but if 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 things goes the way i think they are gonna go it is definitely gonna be really really fun really really interesting oh man like uh, this episode is good man like so so good even the action scene is good like when we saw moon red and also mud rex fighting it out in the warehouse that is so so cool i love it i i love the finisher that bone red did it looks amazing and and even when it goes into the mecha fight that it they really show how serious things is because like and they try everything everything they try they they throw it towards the mad rex and they 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 couldn't beat him like it is unless like what do i say like it is Taya that uses a prototype car and he actually managed to defeat the Net Rex, okay? Like he didn't even defeat him entirely. He only kind of like make him run away and like sway to come back another day, something like that, okay? So really, really fantastic episode. But yeah, I think the BBG is definitely going to be a really exciting thing coming to the series. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you excited for the story for the BBG? 
Are you are you happy that we might actually escape from the monster of the week scenario for for our boom boom just story? I am really excited for that when they actually happen. But with that being said, that is all from me. If you manage this find the video means you enjoy the content, I would really love it if you would actually leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Like leave like let me know what do you actually think, okay? Like about the BBG, about how the story for Bumunja is so far. But another thing is that I would love you to leave the word Coco Melon in the comment section below. Because I feel like Coco Melon is a it's kind of like a really really interesting youtube channel because what they did is just using the same format of song same rhythm of song they just change the lyrics and then they just keep on repeating repeating the same thing over and over and over and over again and and kids watch them kids love the shit out of it and yeah i think <laughs> if they can do it we can do it as well okay so with that being said that is all from me hope you enjoy i'll be seeing you guys in the next one goodbye